Hey guys, I'm back and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to feed your LPS corals because I have two LPS corals in here. I've got an Australian Duncan, which is doing amazingly, and I've got a torch euphilia in the corner there. I feed them both. The torch doesn't really need feeding uh, because it hasn't got a mouth uh, like the Duncan. It has a mouth in the centre, uh, but the torch does not so much, but I still do feed it. Uh, it does seem to be eating them, I guess. Uh, because it does consume the pellets, so I put them in and I don't really see them at all. Uh, I can see them, go, the, they go onto the into the tentacles and then it kind of puts it in its... I, it might have a mouth, I'm not really too sure, I don't think it does. Uh, but somehow it, I'm pretty sure it eats it. it, eats it. So let's start off with the Duncan. Um, what I'm going to do real quick though is I'm going to show you this Duncan, especially on this side. Uh, the uh, if you look up uh, underneath the, uh, the coral there, you can see some big heads forming around the rim. Uh, I've counted there's seven total all around the base. There's some big the, there's some big heads all the way around. So it's, you can see you know it's doing great. So it's getting enough light. Um, it's getting enough food. I feed it. I feed well, but I feed both of them every or twice a week, three to three four days. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm only feeding them spectrum, so the so same so it's fish food, but when um, I'm gonna uh, get hold of some reefroids, which is uh, coral food specifically made for corals, uh, so I will be uh, starting to feed that in the next week or so. Uh, so I'm gonna show yeah, I'm gonna show you how I how I feed this. So I'll start off with the uh, uh, Duncan coral here, and then I'll go on to the. Uh, torch coral in the corner because that's a tiny bit more complicated. All right, so I've got the uh, let's move that side. So I've got this is a uh, little uh, pumper that I use uh, to actually feed the uh, the corals, and then I've got like a little pot. Where is it? Here it is. I've got a little pot that I put the uh, the pellets in with water in, and then I can feed them. So the first thing I do is let's face the tank. Uh, so the first thing to do is turn all the flow off. Literally, every, even the return pump, every, everything off, uh, and then I get my food out, uh, spectrum pellets. And the first thing I do is I, I feed the fish um, a little bit, uh, just so because sometimes they can steal the food out of the coral whilst they're eating it, uh, and that will uh, annoy, annoy the coral, and they they might not eat it because it might just shoot in because of a there's a fish back in it. Uh, so you can see the fish eating at the top now. Um, so what I'll start doing now is uh, whilst they're eating, to be honest, the um, the, the clownfish are, are so tame they actually eat out of the end of this. Um, but see, they might shoot away now, maybe. But the clown, I don't. Well, I've, got, I've got water everywhere. Right, let's just do it from the tank because this might be easier. Right, so I'm gonna start collecting water from the tank. Make sure you're collecting water from the tank, you're not just filling up with tap water or using RO or any other salt water because that's just going to boost up your uh, salinity. Uh, so I've got my, uh, my pot of water, salt water here from the tank and then I've got the uh, bumper here. So I'll just get everything ready. Uh, so let's face uh, this uh, pot here. So uh, I've got me, uh, my food. I'll put in the amount that I want to give the Duncan, which to be honest, it eats quite a bit. I'm not going to give it loads, loads, like it's probably like 10, 15 pellets. Um, and then what I do is just kind of stir it around so they all fall to the bottom. I was, I want to, when I want to suck out this thing, um, you don't want them on the surface. Let's get them all down. So it's just spinning them around. So spinning around is, is a pretty good method because then they all go into the middle and it's just easier for them to, uh, for them to cut up here. Um, so I guess I'll start, but I'll just give you a, ki a quick close-up of the, uh, the Duncan now. And, um, so yeah, you can see me feed it, and then after I'll give you a time-lapse of it, um, opening it back up again. So, just bear with me half a minute. Alright, and observe. Pellets are getting dropped in now. So you can see... Just annoy them. Punch the uh, get the fish away, so it can. Uh, see, I have fed it, but it's uh, it's very greedy. This one. Um, 
the, the, the Duncan will get pellets. Just kind of push it around, you know. It's not going to harm it. They, they they don't usually do this because I feed before. There are still loads of pellets at the top if they want to get those. But that big clownfish, it's the biggest fish in there, so it's very greedy. Um, try not to d touch the actual coral itself because that can stress it out a little bit whilst it's feeding. It's, that's why you turn all the fly off as well because you don't want any movement, no stress. Um, so I've probably put, given it a little bit more pellets than it should. But if if it doesn't want to eat them, then it will just expel them. It will just kind of spit them out. This fish, look, look, he's pecking at thing. He can smell at other things. I'm just going to guard the, the dunk. I'm going to poke him away. Right, so, right, so I'll just guard this, I guess, with the, uh, with this. Um, was this, this thing, I didn't know it was this greedy. Look, it's actually trying to eat out of the pipe. There's no food in there. Still, I don't think. Oh, there is, there's one pellet, I'll just blow that out. So, fish can get that. It's one pellet. There you go. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll take the uh, I'll take this out and I'll give you a, a quick time lapse of um, the coral actually eating and opening up. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> As you saw is that quick clip there of the Duncan uh, you could see it fully eating I kind of sped it up a little bit and put, uh, got a little bit of music in there uh, which was nice uh, yeah it's just it's really satisfying to watch it even in real life like in slow motion it's really it's really satisfying to watch it just open up it's really nice uh, but we're not done uh, the torch coral is next it's a tiny tiny little bit shot in uh, because of the uh, the fish the clown the fish are, well the clown fish are kind of they're, they're close to hosting it they kind of like st staying hiding behind it sometimes um that's kind of that that's where they sleep in, at night this uh corner here um so, so they might host it especially when it gets bigger as well they might they might host it they don't seem to be annoying it uh which is nice uh the only downside to feed to feeding this is uh you got to do it through the light because i've got a lid on you've kind of got to lift the uh the light up in the middle you've got to lift it up a little bit and then feed it through there so this might be a, a little bit more complicated so let's get more food in the pot uh, the torch i guess he eats a tiny well about the same i guess that's how it'll do um so the uh the duncan went really well it's uh it's still slowly opening up and it's good to leave the flow on even after it's eaten even if even if it's half open Leave the flow off until it's fully adjusted, like fully digested, you know, um, if you know what I mean. So we all, uh, same thing as last time, we'll just mix these pellets around, make sure we get more to the bottom. Okay, um, I won't um, speed the one on the torch because it's uh, it's not really a very majestic one, like uh, watching it eat the pellets and that. What I might actually do is I'll come around this side. It's the only kind of close-up view that I can uh, get the torch for with its because my desk it's kind of a funny angle. Uh, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll start feeding it. All right, I apologise if the uh, video quality is not kind of all that. Kind of got I got got to uh, zoom zoom in quite a bit. So um, you might may notice that the tank might go a tiny bit dark. Uh, it's because I'm lifting the uh, the light up. And it's the only way to feed it, and I know it's a bit annoying, but I only got to do it every three days. And it's really not that much effort. So pellets are dropping now, um, slowly wins the race, I guess. So you kind of got you got to make sure you get them on every area. Don't just pile them all on one spot. Make sure you kind of spread them out evenly. Uh, and that little movement that you saw there was uh, it attracting and the shrimp trying to get them. So let's poke that away. 
Um, it's quite sensitive to stuff being in the tank. It's, uh, it doesn't really come out. So I guess that's good. So it's easy to scare it away. Um, so it shoots in a tiny bit. That's just its... Um, it's uh, kind of its feeding time. It does that every time, every feeding time. So this would be enough, but I might as well just get rid of all the pellets. Put it in here. It has eaten enough. I uh, might just give the, uh, the rest of the fish. Now it is fun watching them out, that eat out like the pipe. Which is what I'll do. So I'll just uh, I'll put this on on the rock and just get all get all that pellets out. All right now we've got all the pellets out of the uh, tube. And that's that feeding. Uh, so we've done the uh, the dunk, and that was really successful. Uh, that's the torch digesting them. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even 100% sure if it eats them. I think it does because I don't see it like dropping them anywhere or anything. Uh, it did there. I just saw it spit one out. There it is. It's uh, yeah, a little ball there. It just spat one out. Saw it do it, and it made a movement whilst it did it as well. So maybe it just doesn't want that one. Maybe I just gave it too much. So the that's what it will do if you feed it too much it just it won't eat them um so i'm still going to keep the flow off uh you can see the duncan even after like a couple a few minutes um after feeding it's still it's not fully open i know fully open is and that's not fully fully open so we'll probably keep the flow off in the next five ten minutes or so but after after the video uh because it's was they need to um it's, it's stressful for them if you uh, if you just turn everything back on whilst they're still kind of uh, feeding, uh, digesting. So yeah, that was the uh, that was the LPS feeding. Um, yeah, so I do this every three to four days, twice a week on both of them, uh, spectrum pellets. But um, maybe um, in the next week or so, I'll get some refroids and start feeding it that because it's easier for them to. Uh, eat that and it's a, it's a liquid so it's easier and it will be a little bit more nutritious nutritious uh, for them as well so yeah uh, next week I uh, might be just doing a regular update um, I know I haven't really introduced much coral recently it's just finding the right stuff and having the time to actually go to the, the uh, local fish shop and try and find something uh, but yeah I'm looking at I'm open for suggestions uh, soft coral LPS no SPS yet uh, maybe in the upcoming months, I might try a bit just to see how it how it does. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll see me in a week. Um, bye.